Today I wanna to do a quick deep dive on one of the most actionable vibe marketing strategies that you can go and execute today. We're gonna to use Cursor to build an end-to-end -end SEO and AI recommendation strategy that can help you generate targeted traffic, leads, and customers in your market. So I'm gonna walk you through sort of the high level strategic approach of what I did and then we'll go into a few details and I'll also show you the final output. Quick uh, reminder and disclaimer, I'm not a developer. First and foremost, I'm a marketer. I'm learning cursor and I've been blown away with the use cases after the video I did a couple weeks ago with my friend Amir and he kind of opened up my eyes to using cursor as an interface for you know different work, whether that's coding or, or marketing or whatever. So here's what we did. The goal here was to build a data-driven programmatic SEO site for the vibemarketer.com targeting AI SEO tool keywords using cursor, MCPs, and then deploying uh, that strategy on Vercel. In case you don't know what programmatic SEO is, a great use case is to think of Zapier. Zapier, uh, if you search for how to integrate uh, Slack with Google Drive, they probably rank for that. If you search for how to integrate Loom with uh, Slack or whatever those combinations and permutations of search terms are, Zapier has deployed, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of pages on their website that show up for these very specific terms. So I wanted to figure out how I could ride that wave, take advantage of it, and show you some strategies to utilize for programmatic SEO for your own website. AI SEO tools is relevant to the Vibe Marketer. So what I did after I installed the Data for SEO MCP, which allows me to do keyword research by chatting with the cursor agent, um, I told it to go out there and find 25 commercial keywords for the seed keyword AI SEO. It did that. Um, the keywords that it found had a total of around 23,000 monthly searches. And then I had it cluster or group those keywords together into uh, relevant terms uh, that I could actually build pages and strategies off of. Net net, what you need to do first is get data for SEO, integrate that MCP into cursor or Claude, give it a seed keyword, tell it to go out and find informational, commercial, or navigational keywords uh, that you can go out there and try to rank for. I like to start with commercial. Those are kind of known as your money keywords. They're closer to the dollar. There's higher intent associated with those. The next step, once I found my keywords, is I went out and did a competitive gap analysis. Now this used a totally different MCP tool, Perplexity, which we all know and have probably utilized. So what I told Perplexity to do was, hey, for this specific cluster, AI SEO tools, go out and analyze the top 10 search results for each keyword. So what it did, it reviewed 60 pages across uh, six keywords, and it identified some major content gaps that I can go and attack. So it says that 87% of this content follows an identical listicle format. There's zero data-driven benchmarking. 95% of these pages lack industry-specific recommendations. There's no comprehensive workflow integration guides. And then they're all missing ROI analysis and cost-benefit frameworks, which if you're thinking about these as commercial keywords, people are in market for these tools and that's the type of data they're looking for. That's also the type of data that LLMs love to feature in their recommendations. So this is really key to identify the gaps out there of who's currently ranking, what they're not addressing and how you can fill those gaps. All right, step three is uh, the programmatic SEO strategy development. So, you know, I have Claude already in here. I use uh, for Opus and I asked it to take all this context that I fed it with data for SEO and perplexity and build an end-to-end -end programmatic SEO strategy for me. So it planned out actually 1,247 programmatic pages across five different content types. So based on all the keywords and the data that it accessed, it said that I could, I could deploy 420 tool comparison pages, 312 industry specific guides, 215 feature specific landing pages, 150 budget based recommendations, and 150 integration and workflow guides. Projected results here, 
150,000 plus monthly visitors. So at this step, it went beyond uh, you know, just that initial keyword cluster and some of those initial keywords. And it thought, hey, how can we scale this out with a, with a very large programmatic uh, strategy? So I wanted to get this done uh, with an example to show you. So after that, I used Playwright. Playwright went and captured some screenshots of uh, two tools that I'm going to demo here on my landing page, Surfer and ClearScope. And I also use Playwright to go to the vibemarketer.com to get a little bit of design inspiration so that Cursor could build a nice looking programmatic landing page for me. So I've got some other uh, technical steps, a little tip that I like to do when I use Cursor for um, this type of stuff is I like to ask it to build a retro sort of step-by-step -step guide and all the steps that we went through and everything that we uh, accomplished together. It helps me sort of learn the logic and uh, use this for other purposes as well. Uh, so here's the keyword report, uh, which was the first step. Again, data for SEO. Uh, you can see that it pulled real data, relevant data. It was super fast. I mean, if you went to one of the off-the-shelf tools to do this, it would take you a long time. And if you don't know SEO, you can leverage AI to do the heavy lifting, help you identify the ones to focus on, help you dig in, and help you figure out how you can actually use those keywords in, a, in an actionable way. So you're closing the gap here from insight to strategy very quickly by leveraging the power of AI. So these are all the different keyword clusters uh, that, it, uh, that it pulled for me. And again, after that, I went and did that competitive sort of uh, deep dive gap analysis with perplexity, uh, gave me the key findings here, summarized everything, told me what type of content is currently ranking, what the patterns are, what the limitations are, what the major gaps are. This is what's really key. I don't have the vibemarketer.com really built out yet, but if I did, I would make sure that the gaps were, you know, really kind of between my website and who's ranking for those keywords. And uh, then it used the, all this information and pieced together a complete programmatic strategy. So really all I did was I said, hey, uh, pick one of the, the keywords uh, that you've discovered that follows our programmatic strategy and let's build a page and uh, you know, give a demo and, and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna pull that page up real quick. And uh, here it is. And uh, this page is for Surfer SEO versus ClearScope. It's based on real user data, case studies, and hands-on testing. See which content optimization tool delivers better results. So this is something that I really like. These are real results from real users. Uh, Perplexity pulled these off the websites and included these testimonials here. And again, this is the type of stuff that LLM recommendations love. They love reviews, user-generated content, things of that nature. Um, Cool, so uh, here we have uh, some pricing information, uh, you know, who it's good for, uh, what some of the features are, which I think is really helpful information. And then here we even have screenshots that the Playwright MCP pulled from the live websites and included right here in our landing pages. I think that that is an awesome use case of MCPs for developing, you know, rich and uh, persuasive landing pages. Then we get into a feature by feature comparison based on hands-on testing and user feedback. So it's not just making this stuff up, uh, it's going and it's finding uh, those features on the website, it's looking at the reviews, all of that stuff. So this is real information and real valuable data for someone who's in the market uh, for some of these SaaS products. Then it gave an overall comparison score, what it's strong in, uh, you know, what features it kind of won in across these categories. And uh, it also recommended the tool for different types of users. So who's Surfer SEO good for? Who is ClearScope good for? And it's totally correct that you know Surfer is probably better for small to medium agencies, freelancers, and solo creators, whereas ClearScope is a much more enterprise-focused uh, company um, and, uh, and tool. So um, this was kind of interesting. Uh, it's an ROI calculator. Uh, for the tool based on the cost, the time savings, potential revenue increase of, you know, utilizing these products to help you with your content. So, um, you know, it's based on team size and content pieces produced every month. Pretty helpful stuff. 
And we even get into a detailed feature comparison. Uh, this has integrations, details about the pricing plans, all of that. Um, again, we're tapping into these user reviews, which I think is fantastic. We've even got you know some bloggers and things like that. And then it gives us a summary, which is the bottom line. Um, what's the best product uh, for you? And uh, we can link out to those websites. So um, you can imagine uh, if you're in the AI and marketing space or whatever, this is a powerful strategy. If you can launch a thousand pages and start ranking for some of these keywords, you can collect emails, you can get the right kind of traffic, you can show up in AI recommendations, and ultimately you can get customers. So uh, shout out to my buddy Amir for showing me uh, how to work with all this. Uh, this was a big win personally for me today to go from insight to uh, action in uh, one kind of workflow without having to set up a bunch of complicated nodes, do anything manually, huge unlock here. This is Vibe Marketing. Enjoy.